I mean, Shishigashira, probably one of my favorites. I mean, right. a lot of people say that, but for good reason. A great, great color on this in the fall. Just the most amazing, like, fire engine, orange mm. and reds and yellows. I mean, I've seen it go a lot of different ways, but uh, just one of my favorites. I think this has made every video we make. It's yeah. in our bonsai video. Right. It's in our heat tolerant video. You know, it's in our classics video. Right. Like, it's in a lot of different videos. And for good reason. A lot of people know this one under the term lion's head. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, lion's head, you've probably heard us say a lot here on our channel, is a specific lion from Japanese literature. Now, the Shishigashira is actually the female lion. Mm. There's a Ojishi, which is the male lion. And then Brian recently grabbed up a Mujishi, which yeah. is the cub. So we'll be offering all of those here. They are very similar. The Ojishi is a little flatter. Right. And then the Mujishi is the tiniest version of this. But by far the most popular in the trade and probably the most sought after is the Shishigashira. Yeah, I love it's just like rigid structure that it has. Mm -hmm. It just has this great uh, texture with the leaves and the structure combined on that. I just think, uh, you know, it really makes a presence when it, right. especially once it gets some size to that. I've seen one over at your parents' oh, yeah. garden and it just has such a, a, a kind of a regal appearance mm -hmm. to it. Uh, just great texture overall and just something that looks completely different than anything else you're going to have right. around it. So it contrasts well with so many different things. It's funny. It's been around since the 1700s, yeah. but it's still one that people are surprised as a Japanese maker yeah. that, aren't, that aren't true collectors. Like sometimes even master gardeners will be like, what is this plant? This yeah. doesn't look like what I think of as a Japanese maple. A little bit more outside the box. Classic though, for what it brings to the table, whether containerized or in the ground, you're going to, I mean, you know, Shishigashira, you're going to love this one. Definitely.